Hi and welcome to Rye Cleans Up. Filming this on my phone today um, because my camera battery died and I only have a short amount of time to film this while uh, Henry behind me is sleeping. So um, what I wanted to share to you, with you today is three things that we've changed in our bathroom uh, to reduce our waste and to reduce our plastics. The very, the very first thing that we replaced um, in our bathroom was our toothbrushes. Now there are heaps of companies out there now that do uh, bamboo toothbrushes, um, so you are spoilt for choice. But they all average around the same price. So the ones we went for were um, Go Bamboo. If you can see that there. Uh, they come in children's sizes and adult sizes. Now these aren't colour coded so I do have to put my name my uh, initials on the bottom to make sure that we don't get them mixed up. But these have actually lasted us a really long time and the bristles haven't disintegrated like they do on the plastic ones. Like, I'm quite a vigorous brusher and usually the toothbrush um, plastic bristles would break down really quickly and sort of, you know how they flatten, which is really frustrating. But these ones are still holding their shape, except maybe one or two come out now and again. But these are brilliant. So these ones are Go Bamboo. We got them from the supermarket. They're about 5 50 each. But um, I have found that they are cheaper online. But then you've got to put in the cost of um, shipping as well. So you can get them in the supermarket, which is brilliant. And they do last longer than uh, the plastic ones. We change our ones. We were changing our plastic ones maybe every season. Um, because they break down so quickly, but actually we haven't uh, changed these ones for a while. The second thing that we have changed is we were using um, body wash, liquid body wash in containers. Um, because I've never liked soap. I, I just don't soap. Um, in a bar it usually dries me out really badly and Tom gets eczema and Henry gets eczema and those dry them out quite badly. So I was really excited when I found that Ethic had a bar um, especially for really dry skin and they even mentioned eczema in their um, little blurb. So this is the Calendula and Oatmeal bar um, and it's amazing. I It gives you this, when you use it it does feel afterwards really, like your skin feels really clean, but in sort of like it might dry out sort of clean, but it doesn't. I often forget to uh, moisturize after my shower and I haven't missed that moisturizing because this has done such an amazing job at keeping me moisturized. We bought this um, mid-January, I think it was January the 16th that it arrived, um, and I cut it into threes because I wanted it to last longer. So I think this whole bar will last us three months. At the moment, the two two other pieces have lasted us two months and we will be getting, we'll be using this soon. So amazing value for money. So this is about $10, but it lasts us for a good three months for the, the two of us, really Tom and I are the ones that use it. Um, so yeah, check out Ethic, they are amazing, they come package free, um, and all their, you know, when they send it to you in the post, it's all package free. Their uh, shipping is a little bit expensive, so um, what I should have done was checked locally to see if they supplied anywhere, and they, I did check after the fact, and they do supply in Dunedin, so I will be going to the store to get um, the soap next time. So the third thing, and if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you would have seen um, this already, but we have switched out our toilet paper to Smart Ass Toilet Paper. When we were living in Australia a few years ago, uh, the only toilet paper we bought was the one that was packaged in paper. It was reasonably priced and it was also ethically um, sourced and it didn't come in plastic and even then when we weren't being plastic free we still chose to use that um, over buying the plastic um, toilet paper. When we came back to New Zealand 
we were like a bit horrified to find that there's no toilet papers in the stores that come in plastic. So I suppose that's why Smart Ass came about because they saw a need for the market to have um, ethically sourced toilet paper that is not wrapped in plastic. The amazing thing about Smart Ass is that it is actually not uh, paper, it is um, s sustainably grown sugarcane fibres and bamboo. So they're not chopping down trees, they are sourcing the fibres from sustainable crops that will grow really quickly um, after they are chopped down. The other thing that um, Smart Ass do is that 10% of their sales goes towards a program here in New Zealand um, to plant native trees along our waterways, riparian planting, um, to help protect our waterways from runoffs from farms and things, um, which is amazing and super important in New Zealand to protect our waterways. So they do amazing things. They're currently subs subscription based, so you get 48 rolls of toilet paper. Um, so you get 48 rolls of toilet paper every so many weeks. So we've chosen 16 weeks because I don't think we'll get through 48 rolls of toilet paper um, less than that. They have just brought out four packs of toilet paper. I don't know whether that's just going to be online or hopefully they'll be in the store as well. And they have just brought out tissue paper and um, paper towels for the kitchen. So they are worth checking out. Compared to the prices of um, toilet paper in the supermarkets, they are a bit more expensive. They are about a dollar a roll. Um, if you get a subscription, they are cheaper, so you get 17% off um, if you do it by subscription. So that's what we've done. So who knew that one day you'd be able to get toilet paper by subscription? I didn't, but I'm quite excited by it. The next thing, um, we've still got a lot of shampoo and conditioner that we've accumulated. We haven't even bought the stuff that we've got in our, in our bathroom. It's just things that people have left behind or bought for us. Um, so we're making our way through that before we move on to thinking about what we're going to do for shampoo and conditioner. So if you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you're doing when it comes to being waste free in your bathroom. Um, give me any tips or tricks. Tell me what your favourite products are that you use in the bathroom. Uh, and don't forget to go and like and subscribe. And remember I'm on Instagram and Facebook under Ra Cleans Up. And we have great conversations over there about being plastic free and waste free um, over there. As I put little snippets up um, during the week when I can. So until next time, see you then.